Hey YouTube, this is Baller for Life, and I'm come here to show you a video tutorial on how to make an action script trail. You know, like the ones you see in you know those really good animators videos, like Flying Panda or Stone or or Mick Cool or whoever you feel like watching. But yeah, here this is basically what it's gonna look like. I mean, I can't really animate this good, but like, look. See how the sword is, has like a trail following it? And mostly the yo-yo. Like, look at that. Alright, so, yeah, credits to Flying Panda on that for making that video. But here, I will show you how to do this now. Alright. So, right now I just have a ball. And, you know, it's, it's a, here's what it's going to look like. Yeah, see, that's what it's going to look like. Alright, and you can change the color and stuff on that. Alright, so here. What you got to do is you create, like, anything. Just, like, whatever you feel like. And, like, like a sword or a sphere. Whatever you want to make. And then you convert it to a symbol. Here, I'll, I'll kind of start over just to give you, just to make it easier for you guys. So, hold up a sec. Alright, here. Let's start off by creating a ball. Alright, let's minimize this action script. Let's scroll up. Alright, start by making a ball. Little ball right there. And what we're going to do is convert it to a symbol. F8 is the short key. And convert it to whatever you want. I'm just going to convert it to symbol 1. Alright, now... Here's where you gotta get specific. Now, what you gotta do is you create you. You might want to zoom in for this just so nobody can see what it looks like. All right. So what you want to do is you want to create two little dots. All right. I will make them red so that you can see them. All right. One little red, and then we'll turn the color off. Yeah. I'm going to make them red, but you can make them whatever color you want. You can make them transparent, which is the best idea, but I feel like making them red. And really, you're not going to be able to see them. All right, here's a dot. All right, see it? All right, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to convert this to a symbol. F8 again. And what you're going to want to do is name it Mark. Er. Oh, whoops. I forgot to put the capital on the M. There. Marker. Now, it is converted to a symbol. Now, what you want to do is you want to right click, click on linkage, and click export for action script, and click OK. Alright, now if you see this come up, just click OK. It doesn't really matter. Alright, now, you're going to put in, you're going to want to put another one out there and then zoom out just a little bit not that much just so where you can see both of the dots and your ball alright now you put one of the ball one of the little dots on top and go to the properties click on the instance and click on the thing that says instance name and call it top top hold on a sec I gotta check real quick you can just fast forward this part because it's not really important. Yep, it's called Top Marker. All lower cases, alright? Are you guys? Alright, it's called Top Marker. Name it Top Marker in the instance name T O P M A R K E R. No, just all lower cases, and then you put the other one on the bottom of where you want it to be, and uh, and uh, you call this bottom marker. All right, now you got your two dots in a circle, which you can't really see the dots. You can kind of see them. All right, now what this is doing is this is saying that. Whichever, wherever your dots are, between that section is where the um, trail's gonna be in. Alright, now what you're gonna wanna do 
after this is, you know, create an animation. Like, let's make the ball move. F6 for, you know, just kind of keyframes. Alright, I'm just going to make a short little animation. Just, you know, just give you guys a glimpse. Okay, now that your animation's done, you know, just, you know, you can do whatever you want with it. You have to create a new layer, and you might, you, if you name layers, you know, here's a layer. You can just call it Action Script or AS, whatever you want to call it. And click on the frame. There it is, right there. And then go down to the action frame or F9. You can click F9 if you don't have it. Or press F9, whatever. Alright. And you're going to want to paste the code that I had from my, t that I have in the, uh, con in the, um, description box. So, uh, you know, um, uh, let's see. Where's the code? Where's the code? Where's the code? Oh, wrong one, wrong one. There it is. Okay, I gotta click on this. And, you know, you just copy and paste the code. I really don't... I really don't know who made this, but whoever did, good job, because I really didn't make it. I just wanted to make a tutorial just so somebody can find it instead of having to dig around for it. Alright, you just copy and paste the code into the frame. You know, you click on the frame, click on actions, actions, and it'll say dash frame, or you can just press F9. And that's all you got to do. Alright, now here's what it looks like. See? And, you know, on YouTube, it won't repeat like this. So that little line right about there, see see how every time it loops, it, like, goes up? It won't be there. But, yeah. See? See how it looks? And that is a tutorial on how to create an action script trail. And just to let you know, before this video ends, I do not have an on-screen recorder, so I have to use video camera. But just be thankful that I actually put this on the internet. Alright? Well, you're welcome and bye. Oh yeah, I forgot you guys. Um, if you want to change the color, I had a little bit of trouble with this. I had to figure this out myself. Alright, it's kind of hard to see, but you got to click. It says, it says with the two dashes, it says you can change color here. What you got to do to change the color is you go over to any one of the tools, like the, like the uh, pencil color, and you... Click whatever color you want. Go back into that color and go up to the top right here to this little box next to the uh, color color display, and it will have, oh, oops, it will have a certain number or a combination of numbers and letters and the sharp, the whatever pound key at the end. What you want to do is copy that. Let me see. Control C. Uh, it's just gray. Copy it. Paste it in, paste it in the code where it says 0x185, or 0x and um, a random kind of numbers, whatever it is. And uh, you don't erase the 0x, just erase the stuff after it and paste whatever color you wanted and erase the pound key. And what? And I'll show you. You know, since I picked gray, this would it look like. See, I I I didn't really mean to pick gray, but it really doesn't matter. Just whatever color you want. You know, just to let you know. All right. Really, this time. Bye.